If you guys are looking for some fast, cheap and reliable coins, go check out buycheapfifacoins.com and use discount code CURTIS for 5% off. They're the cheapest and most reliable place around. What's up guys, CURTIS here and welcome to the return of Pele's Samba to Brazil. I know you guys are excited, it's back. I've got a lot of things to say, but before we do say it, do quickly want to just say... um. I forgot to record anything before this game kicking off, so that's why that's all we actually have. So, that's that, but um, it's back. I have actually finished the series now for you guys. I was really struggling to get my hands on a Pele. Obviously, I didn't have 15 million to go spend on a Pele, and the guy that originally lent me him uh, got hacked. Uh, well, he was lending him out, and the person he was lending him out to got hacked, so he lost the Pele and didn't want to lend out another one again, which is completely understandable, but someone else managed to get me a Pele, uh, and I've now finished the series. I didn't want to upload any of it until I was completely finished recording. Him. And now obviously I've been editing this before I go on holiday as I'm sure some of you guys know I went on holiday I left Tuesday uh, I think this will be going up Saturday so quite a few days after I leave but I'm recording this obviously before I've gone so and that's that. Pelé's number two, Brazil, is back. Gonna hopefully get it finished maybe by the end of June. Uh, I think I've maybe got seven or eight episodes uh, to come. So that, that could be the case. But um, let's talk a bit about the gameplay. You would have seen I was absolutely tearing this guy apart with Pelé. He didn't even end up having a single shot on target. It was quite funny. He had his connect on. And uh, not too clear to hear. That's why I didn't include it. But uh, you can just about hear behind the commentators. He's like, oh, he's got Pelé. It's so OP, so OP. And just kept moaning and moaning and moaning. But uh, we were freeing it up at this point. Martinho scored that beautiful long shot uh, early on and uh, Pele's about to get his hat-trick here with this penalty. I do want to say though whilst he has taken it, uh, quickly if we could hit 500 likes in this video guys that would be absolutely amazing to celebrate the return of Pele's to Samba to Brazil. That would be absolutely brilliant. Um, one other thing as well, before this match my record was 8-0-5 and that's something to really remember because um, we're going to see how long we can go without getting a loss because to be honest the first 14 games or no, it would have been 13 games. How did I even work that out? The first 13 games were a bit disappointing. 805 to have f only three less wins than uh, three less losses than wins is is not good enough. But uh, Pele takes it to 6-0 there. That's five goals for Pele. Absolutely end up tearing him apart there, which means we get ourselves five new players. But as you'll see, the record now is 905. That's why I included this little screen. But uh, the players unlocked to take up to 33 from the 28 that we had. There's also a bunch of new players compared to when I was last recording it. Loads of new informs, team of the season, stuff like that. So it's changed slightly uh, just the amount that we're going for. I think there's another... 13, I think. I think it might have been 72 that we were going for before. So there's another 13 players we've got to try and get our hands on throughout this series. Let's hope I haven't calculated that wrong. It's a good possibility I have. But, um... As you see there, we bumped up a few players. The centre-back, instead of going to a shiny, then to an inform, I just went straight to the inform one. But then we go into our next game, and this is against an interesting side. It's basically a Prem Championship SPL hybrid, and uh, it's got a few gold players, and I mess up big time. I pass it straight to his player in the 23rd minute, and this seems to be uh, quite a regularly uh, occurring thing for the first few games. But I did actually get kind of lucky. I went 1-0 down uh, from that really stupid thing, but the game started lagging really bad, and I believe with you, I do think I would have at least come back to get a draw in this thing because I was kind of like just outplaying him anyway and he got a really lucky goal but as you can see it was lagging big time uh, I kept smashing B trying to score there and stuff but then his goalie got it and it just disconnected um, as you'll see in a second and I'm not sure if I got the win or nothing was given but I know for a fact I didn't get a loss for it so I can't quite remember but we go into our next game and we're playing up against a Brazilian slash uh, well, the pay hybrid, basically. And this guy has a couple team of seasons, which we are going to be working for um, in our in our like next little section. But I do the same thing again. I pass it out to the right-hand side and just pass it straight to him, giving him a really, really easy goal. I think it was again, I think they were both in the 23rd minute, which is strange if it is. But uh, Pele here picked up the ball on the right-hand side, and I was using his skills and absolutely like just rinsing that guy apart. Managed to earn our, uh, ourselves a corner. I can't even get my words out this morning. Um... But I got us a corner, and Pele's corners were so OP. I scored so many from him whipping it in. Perfect one there onto the head of Antonio Ferreira, who nods that one home. I really enjoyed using Antonio Ferreira, and I'll be honest with you, it's, I was a little bit sad when I stopped using him, because even though I think he only has like 67, I think, head in, he still is really amazing in the air. Obviously, he has that 81 pace as well, but he's six foot three, so he like gets on the end of every single cross and stuff like that. But this was kind of a game where it wasn't just Pele getting the goals. You would have seen Lucas Piazon got one there. Obviously, Antonio Ferreira got the 
the first one. But after we went, uh, after we recovered from being one 0 down, we got that one in the uh, just at the end of the first half, and then just Pele here did a scoop turn, and it's just really, really easy to actually build attacks if you just give the ball to Pele. But uh, once again, Pele does all the work. It drops to Wallison. Wallison gets the goal, and this game was kind of just running away from this poor dude. And uh, it got to three one at this point, um, and we just got chance after chance after chance. Pele there turned in perfectly with that uh, fake shot, and they're never going to be able to keep up with him. And his finishing always ends up in the back of the net. So we did actually get a goal for Pele, which was nice. I didn't think I was going to get one, but it ends up 4-1. And uh, Pele gets the goal, which means he gets one new player, which we will do in the next episode. But that is the end of this episode, guys. I hope you did enjoy it. Leave a like if you did. Subscribe to this channel if you're not here. Have a nice day, and I'll see you all next time. Bye-bye.